Hey guys, it's Sims Australia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build. So um, this is the first build I have done like properly playing around with Strangetown, um, Strangerville, sorry, I've got Sims 2 on the brain. Um, but yeah, so I kind of like... <laughs> I maybe like shot myself in the foot a little bit because if you guys have seen any of my other videos you'd probably know that I did like a trailer park build but I did that like sort of to celebrate the announcement of Strangerville I didn't do it inspired by Strangerville well it was inspired by Strangerville but it wasn't in Strangerville so that kind of yeah <laughs> it made things like not complicated I guess it's just the fact that like you know I, I maybe could have waited and then gone on to do like a trailer park build now that we have Stranger but Strangerville um but we don't <laughs> or well I've already done that we have it I've already done that um sorry guys I've just woke up as as is usual um but yeah so basically I kind of was starting to think of well what else could I do that sort of fits in with like the whole look and everything and I kind of got in mind like like maybe like a desert farmhouse you know if you if that kind of makes sense it's definitely like more it's more of an American thing and in case you guys cannot hear I am Scottish so not necessarily what I am familiar with um, but yeah, so I, I like I, I looked online for some pictures and everything for sort of like some inspiration for some references to go on. Um, primarily Pinterest. So if you guys like look on Pinterest and you're like, oh that's that's really similar to this build. It's yes, yes it is really similar to this build and for a reason. Um Yeah, I'm I'm completely transparent about that guys. When I'm when I'm heavily influenced by something, I will tell you. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, I sort of imagined like, I, I've called it the little farmhouse because it is little, it's not tiny but it is small, it's one bedroom and one bathroom. Um, I sort of imagine it like, see if we're going by like letting agency talk for a young professional. <laughs> um, yeah, it's sort of like, I'd say maybe, maybe someone like, he or she has just moved here, they've just started off in Stranger Town, maybe they're a scientist. They're like pretty high up because it's quite a it's quite a nice place. It's sort of it's not like filled with luxury and everything, but it's it's not cheap furnishings either. Um so I imagine they've got quite a good job and everything and they've obviously they've came out to Stranger Strangerville and I imagine that they're here to investigate. But maybe they're like on the government's side, you know? So that's that's all I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say any spoilers. <laughs> um But yeah, and then also looking around this particular neighbourhood, the one that's like in the middle of the town, it's not up on the canyon. Um some of the houses, like obviously there is a trailer park and everything, but some of the houses are kind of that like older like farm style house so I feel like it works it definitely blends in with the area and everything I did look like I did go up onto one of the canyon <laughs> one of the canyons I went up to a lot on the canyon and thought about about building up there and maybe making it like a little bit like a little bit of a wealthier house but I feel like the the farmhouse style doesn't go up there at all like there those hit that area is for like rich rich houses so maybe i don't know maybe like i'd do a colonial or something up there something a bit different it'd have to be something like a, that's a lot fancier in order to blend in um anyway so to actually talk about <laughs> what's happening in the build so i'm placing a lot of yellow furniture <laughs> Um, and I, I basically I stick with that for the entire video and then I finish the video 
and I put my sim in and I was going to go around and take screenshots and everything and I was like, you know what, that yellow is hurting my eyes. <laughs> so um, it doesn't change in the recording but if you wait and, and you see the screenshots at the end, the couches aren't yellow, they're um, white with the black wood and it's so much better, it just, yeah, it was too busy, like it was, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it, like I liked it but I just wasn't happy with it, but after I changed it, I was happy with it, um, and that's what matters. So at this point, like I'm kind of sticking with the yellow and the black theme and everything, um, and I'm trying to get all the woods to match as close as they can. So you guys can see, like I'm looking for a bookcase to match the wood and it's just not happening. Eventually I end up taking like um, the really big bookcase from Seasons and sort of using that almost as a room divider. Yeah, I've just done it there. Um, and I like it, I, I like how it turns out. It's kind of like, it's not exactly <laughs> the right tone of wood but it's it's close enough for what I'm going for. Um, it'll do basically is what I'm saying. But I like I like how that goes because I like open plan houses and everything. But then there's only like I've I've done a lot of true open plan houses where you like you walk in and you've got like your entrance area and then immediately you've got like a living area and then a dining area and then a kitchen area up the back like I've, I've I've done really open plan houses before and they're not I don't, I don't know how to say it they're like they're not cozy I guess um and what I try to remember is for all I've furnished this like it's a modern house inside it's not a modern house you know it's a farmhouse so things would be like a little bit more closed off maybe they've they've knocked down a couple of walls and, and stuff to like open it up slightly which is why there's like that wall that if you guys see um like that the kitchen counters are up against there's a wall and then it stops dead and then i've got like a pillar there um i feel like maybe that wall came like across and then the kitchen was closed in but like to modernise the interior it's been played around with and some walls have been knocked down and everything. Anyway, that's that's <laughs> that's just my thought process behind it. Um But yeah, so it's not it's modern furnished, but I'm trying to keep in mind that the idea for the house is not a modern house. But it's maybe been like updated and I feel like I'm totally just repeating myself. But um yeah, so we're in the bedroom and I really <laughs> I really like the bedroom. I like the colours. Um, and that's sort of, it's sort of like after doing the bedroom that I realised the living room just doesn't work. Um, it was it was just too bright. And I just wasn't happy with it. Um, but yeah, I, I like I like blue tones and everything. And that's yeah, so I'm babbling here guys, but I like the bedroom. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're basically at the end now, it's just a teeny little bathroom and then it's the screenshots. So just a short video today guys because I have loads and loads of assignments due and I hope you guys are alright with that. Um, but yeah, so thank you for so much for watching this video. If you liked it, could you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone!